Sometimes, stars are born from the unlikeliest places and circumstances. The story of how Laura rose from the ashes that life presented to her and created the life of her dreams is one that would surprise you. She truly paid the price for success, a price that came with many sacrifices and risks. The world may know Laura as the phenomenal actress that embodied her character in one of the greatest TV series called Twin Peaks, but this video will be proof that there are certain things the world doesn't know about the famous actress. Some of the secrets you're about to hear may shock you. Let's go on a trip into the life of the famous Laura Lynn Boyle. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and we're going to do our best to personally reply to your comment. Diagnosed with dyslexia at the age of six, it was clear that the odds were stacked against Laura right from a young age. If someone had told her then that she would become a star many years down the line, she probably would not have believed them. Everything seemed to be going well for her and her family until the day her mother broke the news of her father's decision. She learned from her mom that her dad had left for good. It wasn't coming back. Laura, being only six at the time, could not wrap her head around the fact that her dad had abandoned her and her mom and it affected her in many ways she would never have imagined. Sadly, this was only the beginning of the many trials that were coming her way. One can only imagine the difficulty her mother had to face while raising a child on her own. They had to move to smaller quarters to start over and find a way to survive. It was an extremely difficult time for them, but her mother worked as hard as she could to take care of her precious daughter. She was determined to give her daughter a good life. However, just a few months down the line, disaster struck yet again. It hit her like a freight train when Laura was first diagnosed with dyslexia. Laura, on the other hand, as she grew older, became more and more devastated by her condition. Having a disorder characterized by difficulty in reading and spelling words was the last thing she needed, especially because she was beginning to have a desire for acting. Even in the midst of their trials, her mom never gave up on her. She made sure that Laura got the medical attention she needed and attended good schools that would teach her all she needed to know. Laura also fought to make sure her mother's sacrifices were not in vain by doing well in school and pursuing the bright future she saw in acting. Right after high school, she enrolled in the Chicago Academy for the Arts and armed herself with every skill she needed to find her place in the entertainment industry. Her childhood may have been a nightmare, but she was determined to make the rest of her life beautiful. Career Highlight Her Relationship with Twin Peaks Co-Star Laura struggled to gain her spot in Hollywood. She was finding it difficult to get movie roles. She auditioned for several roles but didn't get chosen until what she thought was her first big break in 1986 when she finally landed her first role in the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Regardless of the fact that she was only given a small part, she played it to the best of her ability because she wanted her potential viewers to see what she was made of. However, just when she was beginning to get excited about her first big screen appearance, the producers decided to delete her scenes completely from the final cut of the film. For an upcoming actress, something like that would have made her lose her confidence and begin to doubt herself. But she didn't let it stop her in her tracks. Knowing where she was coming from, Laura forged ahead and continued attending auditions until she was chosen for more roles in over five films. That was definitely her reward for not giving up so soon. Now, Laura was becoming a TV sensation and more doors were flying open. But the highlight of her entire career was when she was cast for the role of Donna Hayward in the then popular TV series Twin Peaks in 1990. She went from a local star to an international star, and soon enough, she began to amass millions of fans all over the world. When she was asked about the movie and how it transformed her life and career, she said, Twin Peaks gave me everything I have as an actor. It put me where I am now because it was so beautifully soulful, and I think it just brought out the best of the actors. There was no acting going on. We were living on Twin Peaks. It gave me my career. Now, apparently, a career was not all Twin Peaks gave, to our star actress. As a matter of fact, it was rumored she was in a relationship with her Twin Peaks co-star, Kyle MacLachlan, while the movie was being filmed. She later confirmed that the rumors were indeed true. Their relationship blossomed for over two years until it came to an unexpected end in 1992, 
Laura spent the rest of the 90s and beyond sharing her talent with the world. She appeared in popular films like Baby's Day Out, Men in Black, Baby on Board, and many others. However, as her career was skyrocketing, she still yearned for a romantic relationship. She wanted a partner to go through life with, someone to share the highlights of her life with, and as she went about her career, she kept an eye open for Cupid's arrow. Finding love, then tragedy. For an actress in her 20s, Laura had achieved major milestones that people three times her age only dreamed of, but there was still something missing. With a heart open to love, she finally met someone who she eventually fell in love with. A few months after her 26th birthday, they got married. Her and her husband, John Patrick D., had a great relationship while it lasted, but a few years later, they both began to realize that they couldn't be together forever. Sadly, their realization led them to consider divorce in 1998. She grew even more focused on her career while trying her best to enjoy the life that she had. Her roles continued to gain significance as she elevated to becoming one of the best actresses in the 90s. Despite the bump in the road in her romantic life, Laura found love again with Jack Nicholson. But while she was in a relationship with him, tragedy struck as she came face to face with a life-threatening car crash. Something that was supposed to be a fun ride with her boyfriend turned into a gruesome experience reported by paparazzi and media personnel. Thankfully, both of them made it out alive and were treated by some of the best doctors. They continued to make public appearances together until their relationship, too, came to an end. However, even though her previous relationships failed, love still smiled on her, and this time, it was for the last time. Laura is currently married to Donald Ray Thomas, a real estate investor. From a disadvantaged childhood to a whopping net worth. Abundance of riches are close to the people who work hard enough to turn their passion into money. It's evident that Laura's years of hard work and dedication paid off in the end, not just because she rose to become one of the greatest actresses and producers in the history of America, but also because she also amassed wealth on her way there. For someone who was abandoned by her father, and pretty much left to fend for herself at a young age, it's safe to say she's done well for herself. Thankfully, her children and grandchildren would not have to experience the struggles she went through. Recent records show that her net worth is estimated to be over $10 million, a well-deserved reward for someone who invested 30 years of her life into acting. Like most celebrities, Laura has tried to keep her personal life private today. Also, she hasn't made an appearance in any movie since 2015. Several rumors have circulated regarding why she's been off the grid, but no one knows for sure. Laura continues to be known as the Hollywood queen who brought heart, substance, and creativity to our screens. So which of these unexpected facts about Laura Flynn surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments section, and do check out the next video in this series. It promises to be entertaining.